Okay, the previous video I derived the inverse sine, inverse secant, and I put all of them on the board. So we're going to use that uh, for this problem right here, use some examples. Now we have to make sure we know the formula for taking the derivative of inverse secant. That formula is going to involve a u primed. In this case, the u is equal to what's on the inside, and so u primed is going to be equal to 2. Okay, so now we're going to put this all together into the formula. So for that one, formula goes on top, it's u primed. So again, you want to refer back to that list of uh, the derivatives for the inverse secant that I had on the board earlier. Uh, we have u prime, that's 2 on top. Down below, you have the absolute value of u. That's going to be absolute value of 2x. And then we have times the square root, u squared minus 1. Your u is 2x, so I have 2x squared minus 1. And then we can do some simplifying. First of all, the 2's cancel. Now I have the 2 that's inside the absolute value, but absolute value of 2 is 2, so I can technically pull that out. So that means I can cancel out those 2's. So on top I'll have a 1. On the bottom I'm just going to have the absolute value of x. And then on the inside here, I can square both of those, and I can make that 4x squared minus 1. And then that would be it. That's as far as we can go with simplifying. So now, let's take a look at this one. This one, we have to find the u prime. Your u is going to be this, but we're going to actually, let's write this first. So first I'll say u is equal to 5 minus 2x to the 1 half power. So I'll rewrite it with the 1 half. That way it'll make it easier to do the derivative. For u prime, we have to do chain rule. Do the outside one, 1 half comes down, 5 minus 2x. Subtract 1 from the exponent, I'll get negative 1 half. But, don't forget to multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of negative 2x is negative 2. So now I want to do some simplifying. The 2's are going to cancel out, so I get a negative 1 on top. This part I'm going to write back down below, so I get 5 minus 2x in the square root, I get that uh, down below. So that's as far as I can go with u prime. For the formula, the formula for inverse tangent, if you refer back to that, that's u primed over 1 plus u squared. On top I have the u prime, that's this fraction, 1 over the square root of 5 minus 2x. Down below I have 1 plus u squared. Okay, now the u we said was this square root. If we square that, that means the square will cancel out the square root, so you're going to get 5 minus 2x, and you'll have that left over uh, down below. And of course we can do some simplifying, so since we, you should have all this, so I'm going to erase that so we have some space to continue the problem. Okay, so y primed, we're going to do negative 1 over the square root of 5 minus 2x. On the bottom, I want to simplify this. I get 6 minus 2x. We can write this over 1, which means we can flip the fractions to get our final answer. y prime is equal to negative 1 over the square root of 5 minus 2x. And then we're going to multiply it by this reciprocal, 1 over 6 minus 2x uh, down below, multiply by the reciprocal. And so therefore, the, the final answer I'll put here, so that way we have it. Final answer is basically putting these both together, negative 1 on top. On the bottom we have 6 minus 2x. You could factor it if you want to. In this case, it uh, doesn't really matter if you do that or not. This would end up being your final answer.